a lot of people don't think about the impact of bathroom accessories. So they may build a beautiful tile shower, and maybe it's a smaller shower, and then they say, well, where are we going to put the soap? Where are we going to put the shampoo? So now all of a sudden they're trying to buy something to add onto that finished, that nice finished wall. And even if they add something on or add something on top of the shower head, it doesn't look very attractive. Or if they add it on the wall, they're gonna, their elbows are gonna bump into it. So often I think with shower accessories are not the things that people think about, but they really should design them in up front to achieve the best shower or bathroom experience. In the case of acrylic wall surrounds, there are acrylic corner caddies and there's acrylic soap dishes that all kind of match with the acrylic walls that can be literally added into and onto the walls. In the case of a tile shower, if you've got a very, very small shower or tub space, what you can do is recess the niches inside of the wall. So instead of in the soap dish or shampoo holder sticking out from the wall, it literally is in a pocket inside of the wall. And now there's actually even niches that are available that are waterproof. They're made of the same materials, either expanded or extruded polystyrene as the bases are. Other types of accessories that are very helpful are actually things like decorative grab bars. So if you're looking and your budget's a little lower, and you're just looking for safety, there's standard grab bars that work out very, very well. They provide the function that somebody would need getting in and out of the space. There is also decorative grab bars, which have their high style grab bars. Yes, they're more expensive than the standard ones, but you can get them in all sorts of finishes, whether those finishes be polished brass, chrome, even some different types of plexiglass, acrylic. There's some really beautiful looking systems that add a decorative touch while providing safety. Some of the other accessories people don't think about often are actually behind the wall accessories, which is the valve. The, the plumbing valve and, of course, the shower head can provide really a lot of comfort. Now you're seeing a lot of people putting multiple heads in the shower for a little fancier shower, which can create a whole spa-like experience. Another key element in that space as well are the doors. There are a lot of different applications for doors. Now I would tell you most people would prefer not to have a door, but sometimes you need a door. But if you use a door, there's you can go from the most cost-effective doors, and those would be doors that are, are framed doors. They're framed metal around the door, there's metal that goes around the door. They could be bypass doors or pivot doors, any, any style of door like that. Or there's what's called semi-frameless doors, where the door itself has no frame around it but it slots into a frame. Or there's completely frameless doors which look like a one monolithic piece of glass. They're kind of the highest style type of door, but they're the most expensive. Now, some people may say, well, my space is too small. I don't have a space for any seating. But there are really, now there's fold-down shower seats. And some of them, now some of them can be very cost-effective. Others can be made with materials as nice as teak or even Brazilian walnut, which is a beautiful material. It can support up to 350 pounds of weight capacity. And for the person who needs the shower seat, they put the seat down. And then if somebody else is using that bath or, or tub and don't need it, they put the shower seat back up. So if you've got a very small shower, that fold-down seat is a great solution. If you've got a moderate sized shower, then a corner seat is a great approach to take as well. Maybe you put it in a, in a back corner close to, the, close to the shower head and you could sit on that seat and, and somebody could shave their legs. There also is a leg ledge. It's not as deep as the seat, but it gives somebody the ability to put their, their leg up there and to shave in that space as well. So a lot of these things, if they're properly thought up in the initial design, can make the shower or bathtub a much more functional and usable space, much more comfortable for the, the short run and the long run.